for the final time, F1 Manager is here on the channel and we are here for the season finale, Abu Dhabi. The pressure is on. After the last episode in Brazil, it's all to play for and somehow it's worked out that we go into this race neck and neck, equal on points in the battle for P4. If you haven't seen the last episode and how it happened, check it out, link in the top right. But let's jump into this one. Leave a like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And let's see who comes out on top in the battle of best of the rest. As you can see, just confirmation, the points are equal. Alpine, Aston Martin, we're higher on count back due to the fact that we have a couple of race wins, which is a good thing for us. However, being realistic, Aston Martin as a team, I think, we're on the back foot a little bit. Alpine have been stronger lately and they seem to have the better package. We're going to need a bit of luck. I think this track will suit our car better than Brazil, but that doesn't necessarily mean we're going to have enough to hopefully get ahead of them. So we're going to have to be on point in terms of pace and strategy. In the Drivers' Championship, Gasly three points ahead of Alonso, Seb three points ahead of Ocon. So realistically, the target here is to get both drivers ahead of their respective rivals. So that's going to be that objective for this one. Right, so for the final time, objectives, both drivers, P12 or above in qualifying, we'll lock that in. And we're also going to confirm both drivers into Q2. I'm not going to go for the fastest lap. I don't think it's going to be that sort of race. At least I don't really want that sort of race. And we currently still have an active qualifying streak. So one more race to complete it. Let's get it done. Ocon crashed out of the session. So that could be a possible grid penalty. Wow, Ocon stacked it again. We can take a look now. Okay, so there we have the Alpine. Is Ocon trying to use all these spare car parts? Oh, a nasty crash there. Car was amazing. Copy. Friday running complete. Gasly P5 looks to be in the mix with the big boys yet again. Our pace isn't fully representative, but I do have a feeling we're a bit off the pace. How does it feel? Nice, there we go, 100% on both, happy days. Anyway, there we go, lovely stuff. What a way to end it, maximum scores all round. Okay, please, no major traffic, Alonso's clear. Seb should clear Leclerc on the straight. So there we go, we'll get a trafficless first lap. Let's just hope the first lap's good enough. Cross the line. And that is, hmm. Not ideal. Oh, Alonso's going to completely ruin Leclerc's lap through the hotel section. Anyway, second lap. Usually the second one is better, but since the last couple of patches, I feel like the tyres die off. Alonso is going to hit traffic anyway, I think. Seb is also going to hit traffic. Up to the line then. Alonso, first across the line, does not improve as I expected. And Seb also does not improve. Now, I know it's still a finale and everything, but let's be real here. I could save a set of tyres. I'm pretty safe. Like the, the, the margin to P11 is four tenths. Well, it's more than four tenths. It's four and a half tenths. Lewis Hamilton set the pace. Hmm. And Ocon is out. Okay, let's get these bankers out of the way. Alonso should clear the traffic. I think Seb might just avoid being held. Oof, at the final corner. Um, yeah, Seb got held right at the at end there, the final corner. Damn. Okay, for the final time, let's enjoy a lap with Sebastian Vettel. That's the night sky, it's full Abu Dhabi. Sector one, let's see if we're up. I know for Seb, he'll be on a half decent lap if he's green in both sectors because the time loss was in sector three. So, good start. Both drivers, personal best as the checkered flag drops. I think, especially if Alonso's on double green, that will be very encouraging. Let's see, sector two, Alonso, personal best. Seb as well. Okay, okay, this is looking good, it's looking decent. Final sector. Let's see what we can do here. Gasly P5 right now. Alonso making his way through. Does Alonso make it into Q3? For the final time this season, across the line. Oh, yes, he does. What about Sebastian Vettel? Does he have an answer? Not quite. As I feared, not quite enough pace. That's a shame. We lose Sebastian. I did worry that I think Seb might just fall short. Both drivers improved a decent amount, but not enough. Let's just speed run this first lap. 
no traffic, so we can just get a proper idea where we are pace-wise. Well, let's see what Magic Alonso can do. The final lap of qualifying. Hopefully, it's a personal best. That's all I'm asking for. I'm not saying I want a position. I just want a personal best, as in save the best till last. So let's see. Sector 1 is not good, which is a bit of a concern. As it's a fresh set of tyres we're on right now. I don't know what to aim for. I think, realistically, the best we can do is beat Russell. The top seven are way too fast for us. Even Bottas is in the mix, this one, so I can't really... I can't really do much about that one. Sector 2 is a personal best. Okay, this is good. Does Russell improve? This is the, the big question. If Russell does not improve, there could be some free cheese up for grabs here. Across the line, Russell does not improve. Okay, so definitely P8 on the cards. Gasly only P7. Okay, okay. Let's see. Alonso up to the line. Is it enough? Oh, yes. Good lap. Magic delivers. Well, there we go. Qualifying done. And to be fair, I've got mixed feelings. Gasly is fast. Somehow we're on the same row as Gasly after the, you know, if you look at the pace deficit, somehow we're on, we're on the fourth row with him. But I don't know if we'll be able to contend with that sort of race pace. This is what I want to see now. Strategy. This is the one. One stop. The two stops faster. I'm tempted to... I'm, I'm going to go conservative. My, my brain here is kind of winning the battle. So I'm thinking we'll start them both on the same tyre. And we'll leave the strategy open to a one or a two. Depending on how the race goes, how tyre wear progresses, we'll see what happens. I'm going to put both drivers on push with the engine the whole race anyway. Because it's the last race. So I'm going to load up on fuel. And we're going to push flat out with the engine. But I want to start them on the same tyre. And leave the option of a one or a two open. And then maybe we can split, split at the strategy's leg for it down the race. When it's the time. If I feel like it's necessary. If that makes sense. So um, I think that's what I want to go for. Hmm, we can't load up on any extra fuel. So fuel's marginal here. Let's get into it. Let's find out see what happens. Anything could happen. It's the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. This is it. It's lights out, and away we go. For the final time, we're underway. And I can see some soft tyres, so we've got a split strategy already. Alonso battling with signs. Gasly up to sixth, which is not good. Good job. Seb scrapping with, with uh, Norris here, as we can't afford to let Norris go by. He's on the same tyre. Alonso up to fifth. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Briefly anyway, although Hamilton got back in front, but Alonso crucially gets ahead of Gasly, which is massive. That's it. That is a huge move early on. What a start from Alonso. Delivering. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. Seb also holding on to his starting spot, which I'll accept considering he's around a few soft runners. But this has been a big start. Big start from Fernando. This is exactly what you want from a two-time world champion. Now I'm expecting the pace to start to drop off. So we'll probably lose the DRS off the top five. Ideal scenario here is obviously Sainz tries to get involved and uh, Russell as well. And they kind of carve their way up and kind of disrupt Gasly's rhythm. What we want is for Gasly to finish as low as possible. I think he's going to score points. The question is, how many will he score? So this was the Aston Martin. There's one race where we could not afford to have a slip up. And it's happened already. And look at this man. Alonso is already forming a train. This is going to be a tough race, man. So DRS enabled. Hamilton with the fastest lap. Top five already streaking away. So we need Alonso to essentially do a bit of a job here. But I mean, Alonso's not fully falling away Seb's doing this thing he's kind of catching up by himself bit by bit so he'll gradually work his way back into the race I think here comes Gasly this time he does get the run Alonso tries to fight it Alonso will get the DRS now so chance to hopefully go back through we know Alpine we've got just decent straight line speed but Gasly holds on 
Alonso tried to challenge there, but couldn't get through. Our straight line speed is very good. If we'd put a fresh engine in, we'd be even quicker. Alonso tries to go through, and this time does. Although Gasly fights it back. Big scrap. Alonso versus his former employer. They're still going at it side by side. But Gasly comes out on top. We're equal on points in the constructors. So we've got to outscore Gasly. And because we've lost Seb now, I was hoping to score a point and get P10 with Sebastian. That's kind of what I was leaning on. It's like the, it's essentially to get us over the line. But Seb's out of contention now. Alonso through. I actually like the fact our straight line speed is that good it may well keep us in the race as long as we don't lose DRS we have better straight line speed Gasly cannot overtake me on a straight which is very very encouraging Seb getting through the Williams boys he's got one and he's about to get looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position the last one there we go come on Seb Alpine just advanced now look at look at how far back we were and we just get back on the straight. Again, side by side through here. You'd love to see it. The Alpine, though, has a bit more downforce than our car. But this is fine. This is absolutely fine. We can do this all day. That's a good overtake from Alpine. Again, Alonso fighting back. We can do this all day, mate. I'm really keen to see what strategy Pierre goes for. Seb's dropped the Williams, but isn't really making much progress in terms of catching... The car's ahead. They're all in essentially the RS train, so it's not ideal. Pierre through once more. Rinse, repeat. Will Alonso re overtake? You're damn right, he is. Straight line speed is on point, man. And we have pit stops. Okay, does Pierre pit? Does Pierre pit? No, he doesn't. So Bottas and Perez in. We'll give it one more lap, but this will be an indication that. We could potentially be seeing a one or a two stop. Gasly goes through. Again. Also keen to see what straight line speed science has. But based off his struggles early on, I'm inclined to think he's also not that great for straight line speed. But there we go. For the first time, Pierre has actually managed to stay in front. But we're still close enough to nab a little bit of DRS. Which is what we need and what we want. And that will bring us right back into play. As Alonso now will just zoom on the straight. And look at that. He's going to challenge already. The straight line speed's ridiculous, mate. Just a bit of an update, but Seb's looking okay pace-wise. Three tenths. Quick on Alonso on the previous app. Alonso now has improved. We're very comfortable. It's now the crucial phase, the pit stop phase. Oh, okay, Pierre and Carlos pit. Let's see where they feed out, which is the, the key thing here. Because if it's clean air, we'll have to probably cover. But at the same time, I want to try and extend because tire wear has been better than expected. So I want to basically take a bit of pain now so that we have better tires at the end. Could we do something with Seb, maybe? Bit of, uh, bit of Checo Perez, Minister of Defense, maybe. Sainz has jumped Gasly in the pit lane. Gasly's behind Russell and Joe, so this is good. Okay, Checo goes through. Verstappen not too far behind. Pierre's still stuck in traffic, so this is fine. Although I might hit this lap maybe let's see does Verstappen clear him no he doesn't you'll probably clear him on the second straight nope does not pass look at this Seb's putting the shift in we'll take one more lap of pain with Alonso because we've got Seb in the mix to disrupt things a little bit oh no Let's have a look here. This was the Aston Martin. There's the crash. That's going to be a big blow to the team. Will they be able to recover? We'll see. Oh my God. I was trying so hard to just extend that by a couple of laps. I've never really had an issue with extending before and going under 30%. A small positive is that we've got a cheap pit stop with Sebastian here. A, a quick stop here and out ahead of Ocon would be the ideal scenario, but I don't think that's going to happen. Nope, it's not going to happen. Just get back on track anyway. We're back in the race. Get ahead of the Williams at least, which is good because they're, they're mobile chicanes, basically. Okay, listen. This isn't terrible. 
Okay. This race is still open somewhat. There's a, there's some two stoppers, but Gasly's only P10 right now, which is a point. Right then, back underway. We'll leave Seb in standard mode. We know we have that straight line speed, so that is a nice up, here, up our sleeve, especially because Seb's got a fresher engine than Alonso, so we should have even better performance on the straights. I can't believe Alonso let us down though. Oh, there's a mistake. Magnussen, there we go, that's one position gained. That puts us in the back of our car now. Let's go for it. We've got a few reserves, so we may as well try to use them and use the strengths of our car. We know the straight line speed's there. I'm trusting you, Seb. No more mistakes, no do-overs. Let's go. One car down. Get it, get it. Go, go, go. Come on, Seb. Yes. Gasly up to eighth. He's got past Joe and Russell and sets the fastest lap. Two for one's looking tempting. Oh, oh well, that was a bit of a, a lunge there from Seb. That's going to cost him. Okay, they're battling. A bit of three wide action. Wouldn't go to miss here. Not the best exit, but we're in the mix. Come on, get one. Get one of them at least. Or get two. Go on, Seb. We'll go to deploy. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Oh, Sebastian Vettel. I love your work, mate. I absolutely am a big fan of your work. Gonna have to hit a little recharge phase in the battery now. Oh, right, so we've caught up to the battle for P9. The issue is Gasly is pulling away and is pushing on onto Albon. So he's getting away. Gasly P7 overtaken Albon. Our tyres are great compared to those around us. And Seb's pretty good on his tyres anyway. So we'll have an advantage for the rest of the race. Can we make some progress? We've got better tyres. And we've got better top speed. Hopefully that counts for something. Come on, Seb. Yes, Seb. Come on. We've just had a car run wide. Get that done. Get that done. Yes. Come on. Get another one. The Alpha tyre is pretty good on the straight, to be fair. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. Oh, Seb. Seb. Go on, mate. Go on. Just go. Do your thing, mate. Let him cook. Wait for some DRS. And then we'll just punch it. Right, it's time to go, Seb. We need to, we need to make up a couple of seconds on the cars in front. So now's the time to go. Now is the time to go. Go, 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 go. Right. We've got to find five seconds to catch Pierre Gasly. So Gasly has been released. But so has Sebastian Vettel. Seb's back in this race now. Uh oh. Safety car. Oh my god. My gut feeling straight away. I want to stay out. And I think we can compete with Gasly on track. And a big off. Ocon, Alonso, Magnussen. They're loving the turn one stack, aren't they? Oh, okay. What's going to happen here then? Our cover is pitting. We're only going to have Ricardo as cover. And the two stop is going to be directly behind us. We're ahead on count back based off the fact we've got a race win. But we can't mathematically tie on points. Whoever finishes ahead scores more points. We're tied right now. So I'm just thinking for this restart, the play might be to try and get ahead of Gasly straight away and cost him time and break the pack so the top four pull away. I'm going to try it. That could be worth a shot. Let's see. Green flag. Back on the way, 15 laps, all or nothing. We've got a bit of cover behind in the form of Daniel Ricciardo, but I don't think it's going to last very long. Let's see, if, if we can just clear Pierre. Go on, Seb. Go on, stick your nose in, have a look. Have a look. No, try again, try again. We've got check over company now. No DRS. Okay, let's just wait. Can we jump Gasly here? Nope, another poor exit, but doesn't matter. Here we go. Sebastian Vettel through. 
and that is what I'm talking about right there. That's exactly what we need. And that's what we need now. We've made it. I know that once the DRS is enabled, we're competitive. Ocon's 15th and looks to be out of the equation to me. So, let's see. Top two breaking away. Signs Hamilton battling. And we're in the mix. This straight line speed is giving us everything this race. And we've, of course, got the slightly better tyres. Tire wear is actually quite high on the hard tyres. So, it's a good thing that we got them safety cars. We need to make sure Pierre does not get the fastest lap. That's also a concern. I'm so nervous. I'm knock on wood. Please, Seb, don't make a mistake. I'm just. This can't happen now. Ocon's had no pace all weekend. Ocon um, crashed in FP1 and then crashed again in FP2 and essentially wrecked his car both times. So I think he's on very old components or a very damaged engine, which is why he's off pace. Now have a watch of this. Looks like Ocon. And yes, that's where they spin out. Seb was close to losing DRS there, but we've just held on. Mm, we're dropping Gasly here. He was battling Bottas, to be fair, although Pierre will now probably catch back up in the final sector. This is close, you know. We've got push mode on. We could just drop Gasly out of DRS range here. Well, I think he's just going to hold on by the skin of his teeth. But they're saying over yet, Gasly now under pressure from Bottas, who's looking to fight through. Not able to get the job done, though. Gasly again out of DRS range, although he just creeps back in. I think we might just have it. This would be massive because Gasly, Bottas and Perez could fall into their own little scrap. And there we go. Gasly does not have DRS. Bottas through. Perez through. Does he get it done? It's a close one, but he's got it. Gasly down to eighth. This is great. And bit by bit, those medium runners that pit for the extra stop they're slowly burning their tyres away. So things could level out. Gasly has got back ahead of Checo. But is at risk of losing the DRS again. And Seb doesn't have DRS. We'll let Bottas take the lead then. See if Bottas can pull us along. Just got to stick with it, Seb. Cannot afford to lose DRS. We're starting to struggle on tyres now. I can visibly see it. Oh. Okay, Bottas had an issue there. And Seb's gone through. Happy days. Three laps to go. Mm, out of the RS range. Check her through. Tires are really going now. Gaz is also dropping. Gaz the out of the RS range. We're going to just do what we can with Seb here and hold on as long as possible with the engine modes to try and keep up. Albon's passed Gasly. Pierre's hit the cliff. Tires are dying. No DRS. We'll get DRS now, though. Beautiful. Oh, I think we've done it. I think we're home and dry. We have low battery. Copy. Just bring it home, Seb, mate. Just bring it home. Nice and easy. Wow. What a turnaround. What a recovery. But Seb's done it. Brilliant. P4 in the constructors, baby. That's what I'm talking about. What a finale. What a final race that was. That was fantastic. Sebastian Vettel, I owe you an apology. I was not familiar with your game. I owe you an apology. Seb, mate, you played with our emotions in that race in a big, big way. Wow. Ocon had a bad race, a bad weekend. So did Fernando Alonso. But Alonso, at least when he crashed, he created a safety car and that got Sebastian Vettel back into the race. P6. What a performance from Sebastian Vettel. Wow. That is trademark performance of a four-time world champion. Verstappen wins the race ahead of both Ferraris. We'll confirm and see who won the championship. Hamilton P4, Perez P5, and crucially, Pierre Gasly, P9. Further down, Arcon only P15. Joe got the fastest lap, and of course Alonso at the bottom with the DNF. 
Drivers' Championship. Gasly does take the bragging rights ahead of Alonso. Seb, though, gets the bragging rights over Ocon and finishes in P9. So both of our drivers very much in the points. And to be fair, for all the highs and lows, they've spread the points out fairly fairly comfortably, to be fair, and, you know, fairly evenly. Seb didn't get a win, but got the most podiums and the most fastest laps. Alonso bagged the two wins. So that's what you want to see right there. Gasly, only one podium, but just consistently scored points. And was very strong and especially at the end when Alpine really delivered but I'm taking that. Carlos Sainz is your world champion by a point over Verstappen. Verstappen won the race, Sainz recovered to third. He was in a bit of trouble but in the end Sainz is your champion. Constructors, Ferrari get the crown. 13 wins this season. They were a standout and we hold on to P4 and we get that fourth place ahead of Alpine. What a finale. What a result. Huge. The question is, do we get any nice little bonuses from that? Hmm. Alonso gets a point, ironically, after the crash. But we'll take that. Very solid. And cash payouts, just to close things out. There you go. Of course, we've got the points clause for Seb. But I'm taking that. What a race. I'm not going to lie. I think we can leave it there. I'm... Not sure if I'll continue this series. It was a great finale. It's, in a way, it's a great way to go out. If I do continue it, it may just be on Twitch exclusively as like a kind of fun part-time streaming series. But I think we've reached the end of the road on YouTube. So those of you who have watched every episode or still watch the series up until this point on YouTube, a massive thank you. And, you know, just cheers for the support. It's been great. I've enjoyed the two seasons. It's been really, really good fun. Especially season two, we've had so many highs and lows. It was a fun series. I don't think it's going to continue on YouTube, but it may continue on Twitch. Either way, I've enjoyed my time in this game. And yeah, hopefully you guys have too. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I've got plenty of other content and more stuff coming soon. So stay tuned. F123 is just around the corner. And that's me hinting at something. So uh, you might want to get subscribed for that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you very soon. A big shout out to the members. For supporting the channel before that a big shout out to those on twitch who also watched the streams and supported as well finally check out two videos on screen and i'll see you in the next one take care and it's goodbye from me